Hey ladies and gents, Domocorn here, and due to popular demand from the single comment on my last video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the MC Helicopter mod for Minecraft on a Mac computer rather than Windows. So let's get right to it. Perfect. Now that you're back from that great intro, thanks to some guy on Fiverr for 20 bucks. Today, uh, we're gonna start out right on my MC Heli mod page. The tutorial is fairly similar to the one for Windows. All of the files are the exact same. There's just, everything's in a little bit of a different spot now that it's on a Mac computer. So, of course, just like the other tutorial, and if you haven't seen it, give it a click in the description or you know look at the two other videos that are on my channel but head over to the wiki page here or you can go to everything manually but the wiki page i already have your link for downloading the mod and for downloading the version of forge that you're going to need so very first thing of course have minecraft installed next best thing is to make sure that you do have java installed on your machine as well so you can just go right to java.com click on there's going to be another button before this page and it'll bring you to this page here to agree and start the free download i'm not going to show you how to install that because i'm assuming you already know how to install a, um, a basic application on your machine uh, next you're going to want to go to the mod download page here and go it'll bring you to a, a google drive file here and right here at the bottom you have, or depending on how big your screen is, you have your MC Heli Mod 1.7.10, which is the one that we're gonna be doing right now. So of course you're gonna give that a right click and click on download. It's gonna say it can't scan for viruses, of course, because it's a .zip and exceeds maximum file size, whatever. Click on download anyway. Make sure to click keep on the file because Chrome gets mad at you when you uh, install files from the internet especially on a Mac. Uh, so then once you have that downloaded, I just have it here in a folder. Um, this guy right here, MC Heli Mod Zip. Sorry if you can hear those sirens, I live in the city. Um, now that you've got your MC Heli Mod Zip, uh, this right here is just the Java installer. You don't need that anymore if you've already installed Java. Uh, next, you're going to want to get your version of Forge. So again, you can go on to the page here, open link in a new tab, and it'll bring you right to the 1.7.10 um, installation page. I would go ahead and use the recommended version. Don't use the latest version because sometimes they can have bugs and things. And while you're on a Mac machine, instead of clicking the Windows installer, obviously, you're going to want to click the installer icon here. Uh, and that installer icon is going to download this forge installer.jar file for you. I made the mistake uh, of installing the universal one before. Do not install the universal one. It is for other specific use cases. Just install the installer file there. So now that we're done with both of those pages, I'm gonna give them a click out. And on a Mac computer, this is where things get a little bit different from the Windows installation. You're going to want to, of course, open your Minecraft version, just like the other one, and run Minecraft 1.7.10 at least one time. So you see I already have it set there, but if you go to installations at the top here, you click on new, you can make a new installation named whatever you'd like and scroll down through the list here and select 1.7.10 if I can find it. Oh, it won't show me because I already have one there. So 1.7.10, you're gonna go to play, press play. It should come up with a window that says, are you sure you wanna run this? Click accept, of course, and let that run. You'll see it loaded up pretty quick. So once it's loaded once, you can quit the game and then we are going to install our version of Forge. So with that Forge installer file that you downloaded, you're gonna wanna right click it and click on open because when you download things straight from the internet on a Mac, if you just try and click it, it says you can't run it. You have to right click it and click the open button and then it will have an option where you can 
click open and actually allow it to run. Really weird, but I guess it's a security feature. Um, again, same as the Windows installation, you're gonna go to install client and you're just going to click okay. It'll go through, do its things and see it says it successfully installed the Forge client on your machine. So pop Minecraft back open here. Give it a second and it should have automatically selected it but if it hasn't just click open your list here and you know go to where it is but you see 1.7.10 forge click on play again you're going to want to run this at least once so that it gets like the mods folder and everything like that uh just give it a second no Ay ay ay. This is why I use my Windows machine. We're just gonna fast forward here while I figure out what's going on. Okay, we're back. Let's give that a play just like you're supposed to. There we go. Not too sure what happened before there. But now that we've loaded up the Forge version, we're just gonna let it run so it can install all its dependencies and everything that it needs. Boop. And there we go. So you can see there you have Minecraft uh, Forge mod loader, three mods loaded. Those are your base mods that you have. Uh, once you've loaded that once again, you're gonna click quit. Now that we've quit that, we're gonna focus on the .zip file that we installed. So by default, I believe Mac already has an archive utility installed, this guy here. So you can just double click it or go and right click it, open with archive utility. It is going to extract the file and that is exactly what we want, just a little MC Heli zip file there. Now, to get to your Minecraft folder, because of course you can't use the Windows key and R and go to the percent app data percent folder, you're gonna go into your finder, gonna click on the go button on the very top bar there, and you're gonna click on go to folder. Now this right here, I'll put it in the description so you can just copy and paste it, or you can type it in so it's tilde forward slash library forward slash application support forward slash Minecraft. And once we click on go, that's gonna bring me into essentially your .minecraft folder like it would be on Windows. Um, and you can see here, you have your handy dandy mods folder. Now, of course, I didn't copy the file here, so we're gonna wanna give that a copy. And go back here, go into your mods folder, and just as easy as that, Command V or right click, paste, and give that fi about five seconds according to them. And now it's pasted into your mods folder. So go ahead and give Minecraft a click again, run your version of Forge, click on play. Give it a second, depending on what Mac you have. crash again because why wouldn't it oh, I was open in the background it's weird it's almost like I have it's like I had two launchers open or something I think that might have been what was going on. I had multiple launchers open, so when I clicked run, it conflicted with itself. There we go. So just like normal, you should be able to just run it like that. You can see it's initializing the MC helicopter mod right there. Do, 
Do 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 do. There we go. And if all has gone well, you should see four mods loaded, four mods active. Give that a double click and just hop into this new world here. Don't mind the name of the other world. Ta-da, here we are. And you can see the MC Halley mod has been installed successfully. Pop that out. Wow, beautiful. Just like you expect. As the Mac turns into a jet engine itself. Awesome. Well, that was the entire tutorial, guys. Um, I'm going to have another video out uh, right after this one fairly soon on how to do it the super easy way if you don't want to be going into weird folders and things like that. So stay tuned for that video. And again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, maybe error logs, but I mean... I'm no programmer, so I probably won't know how to decipher it. Um, leave them down in the comments. Let me know if you have any issues. I'll be happy to help. And also leave a comment down below of uh, any other tutorials you want to see. If you don't know how to install this mod or that mod or what it might be, leave a comment. I'll get right to it. Okay, guys, have a good one. I'll see you in the next video.